Beef is a classic on the grill, and one of my favorite sandwiches of all time is a beef brisket sandwich. And this, my friends, is a beef brisket. It's huge, but there's some good fat, there's some good flavor, and with a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and a little bit of smoke, this can be one of the best cuts of beef out there. To start this flavor, a rub. Mine has a little bit of everything. So it's called a rub for a reason. You really need to rub it in. Get yourself a good surface area, sprinkle some rub on the bottom, lay the meat down, and really massage it. All those spices are pretty coarse, so the more that you rub it in, the more flavor that you're gonna get. All right, the rub is done. But before this thing hits the queue, I'm gonna show you a wicked way to add even more flavor and a ton of moisture. Now this is a little trick that every backyard barbecuer should have in his arsenal. Uh, it's called the injection. And you can mix it up, but I found this is the best for brisket. Melted butter, liquid gold, you gotta start with that. Beef stock. You could use chicken stock or veg stock, but beef stock has all the gusto. A little bit of apple cider, just for a little bit of sweetness. Apple cider vinegar for a little tang, a little like Couple of dry spices, mustard. Onion powder, beef and onions, best friends. I always make my own hot sauces, and you can put as much or as little as you like. I like it with a little bit of kick. Perfect. Get a lot in there, have fun, make it tasty. Oh yeah, you can see the meat already change. It just kind of takes in all of that moisture. Okay, I have something really cool to show you. I have a smoke tray in my barbecue. If you don't have a smoke tray like this, you can use regular smoke pouches. Apple wood is so good with this recipe. And I always like to start with the wet wood on the bottom, dry wood on top. The wet wood gives you longevity and the dry wood gives you smoke. Oh, that's a big brisket. Yes. Perfect. This is gonna be on here for a long time. Whether you're using a smoke chamber or smoke pouches, whenever the smoke dies, just replace it. That's how it should look. It should be really, really dark. And you get that from a lot of sugar in the rub and continuous smoke while you're cooking it. Oh, I want to taste it so bad. But you got to rest and you got to tent. Yes, look at the juice right there. Check out that brisket. It's a really good amount of fat. The meat is nice and tender. You can see it's kind of pink around it from the smoke. That's gonna make a great sandwich. I like mine pretty simple. A little bit of mustard, a couple of pickles, good to go. There's some real magic in that brisket. Between like the sugar and the chilies on the outside, the long smoke on the barbecue and the injections, it is a perfect piece of meat. It's kind of one of those things, you take a whole Saturday afternoon to make it. Beer in your hand, the sun's out. It's a picture perfect Saturday afternoon project.